much. Damn. There was a wedding here last night. There was a fair amount of yodeling. You could hear drunk people screaming into the night at all hours. So maybe they'll be all too hungover to be at the breakfast, but oh my god, I'm so excited. What a cool building. Half stone, mostly stone actually. Alright. <laughs> oh man. Man, we were there for like three hours. <laughs> like seriously, just sitting at that table with like five other Nobos, just had the waffle sweats, but I had like the third plate. Then I just hung out and just sat on a couch for like two hours. It's 11 o'clock now and I got up at like first light. Everyone was, I was with was dangerous. I'm like, all right, I think I'm gonna, it's 11 o'clock, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and check out the bar. I was like, okay, I really don't wanna leave, so I should leave right now. I have the rest of today and all day tomorrow and Tuesday morning to make it to like 54 miles to Cascade Locks where Nibbles is gonna come pick me up. So that's no big deal at all. I probably could have just stayed there. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, shoot, maybe I should turn back and hang out with them and just do like four or five out this evening. But I don't know, I kind of feel like walking. Whew, so much food. Oh, this dude, I was sitting across from him. It was his birthday today and he was just so happy. And the girl to my left, actually shivered and was like I think a shiver of just pure happiness just went up my spine the girl so happy to be there this morning like will getting to Canada feel as good as being here right now felt maybe I don't know <laughs> but I'm gonna see if I can't do like 10 or 12 kind of lazy miles today no pushing and then tomorrow maybe like a 30 ish which should put me five or six miles out of Cascade Locks ish depending but like at the top of the hill and then it's just an all downhill from there to where Nibbles will get me and if I get there early there is a brewery that apparently locals will come and buy, buy a beer for a uh, for hikers and write like a little note on a car and they put that card into a box or something and hikers can get there and take one of the pull one of the cards out and read the message and then hand it in and get a free beer. So maybe I'll do that while I wait for him and check out the town of Cascade Locks and lay eyes upon the Bridge of the Gods. Whew. Man. There's gotta be snow on the other side of the mountain. I've seen so many people with skis. It's September now, it's September 1st. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? I'm loving the, uh, the greens, the blues, the dirt, the trail slicing across. It's all good. But this is not a flat trail. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mountain buried in clouds. Some waterfalls going on. That's so cool. I don't think it's those but there's another one I'm coming up to called Ramona Ramora I think it's Ramona Falls it's like a little side trail but it's only a half mile or so I think it loops back to the trail but I'm definitely gonna hit that I think and since it's a lazy day I'm gonna just camp there it's also a holiday weekend and there's tons of day hikers out here so part of me is like maybe if I camp down there I'll Get some trail magic. Never knew. I already had a lady hand me a beer. She's like, hey, are you a through hiker? Like, yes, ma'am. My name is Reese. What's yours? I truly can't remember her name already. I'm so bad at that. And she followed me for like a mile or two, chatting about whatever. She's like, alright, I'm gonna turn around. I don't want to go any further down. I have to climb back up. Do you want a beer? <laughs> Not if you're gonna have them. She's like, eh, I brought two, I only need one. Hand me one. Yes, ma'am. Up into the nest. Mountain goes like way up there. Oh, 
here. I hope it'll get rained on. <laughs> Spot of gnarly. I'm loving these woods. Green moss everywhere, giant pine trees, nice flat brown patches for tenters or hammockers that like to have a nice clean front porch. I do like streams and a crazy waterfall. All right, Oregon. Of course, I have, I think, one of the few significant and definitely the last hard climbs of the state, like literally like two miles in front of me. I was looking at the elevation profile while I was eating back there and yeesh. But, whoop. So, had some caffeine, this will be fun, right? I've walked into Fern Gully. <laughs> That's a nice roll. There she is. Why do I feel like I'm going down just to go up this thing? Oh boy. That one's mine. <laughs> that last climb, I just put the headphones in. Made a playlist while I was in uh, that lodge. And it was just booking. Sweat pouring down my face. I was just like in the zone listening to all these like, you know, upbeat songs. And this kid apparently was following me. And I don't know how far in I hear something. I turn around and see him and I pull my headphones out. And he's like, oh God, that's why. Apparently he'd been trying to get my attention for a while. But uh he was lost and some guy told him I was going the way he wanted to go, so he'd been following me. And I'm pretty sure we looked at my map on Gut Hook and figured out the trail he should have taken was like an offshoot a hundred yards after he started following me to a parking lot. And he's like, oh God, no. And we figured it out for a little bit and, and then he just took off running. Young kid, like high school, maybe. So. I'm sure he had about a mile, um, just under a mile and a half to go, and he was booking. I'm sure on his way to a very concerned parent. <laughs> oh, poor kid. Alpine Glow. That's so cool. Later, Mount Hood. All right. Good hook said there's a spot on the left in point one. It's been a while now. Who doesn't love a good snow-capped mountain? Wreathed in clouds. All right, Oregon. I'm gonna miss Oregon. Big guy out there. That's where we're coming from. These are days up here. Gnarly. It's definitely been a up and down kind of topsy turvy day, but right now it's been a really cool little flat. Just kind of walking right along this ridge line, it's been really nice. You can't really see the view. Of All right, I met a couple flip floppers. They said there's some awesome spots with some awesome views. It's only a couple of miles down, so I'm gonna tackle this, which means I'll wake up, maybe I'll sleep in again tomorrow. And then head to town at like, or leave camp anyway, at like 8, which would, oh, this is a burn. But hey. I made it to my spot. You got a nice view of the sunset over the Columbia River. It probably doesn't turn out very well on the camera, but. Does it? Sure. So my plan is to go from that tree to that tree, which is very close. But we'll see if I can make it work and then just enjoy the sunset, man. Yeah. You got the golden rays. That's so cool. I think I'm going to get this hammock set up and just kind of chill here and look out at the water for a while. Eat my last fancy meal. 
which I've been carrying for like three weeks inexplicably. Some dehydrated meal I found in a hiker box forever ago. Last night on the trail in Oregon seems like a good place. Those cliffs to my left are pretty gnarly. Let's see if they show up a little bit better. Not really. Just these flat walls. The sun was just like making them glow. It was awesome. I was hiking along, mom called me, and I actually have like full, like four full bars here, which is crazy. Um, I'm just talking on the phone, walking away with her, and I guess I took a wrong trail? I don't know. It wasn't like a obvious split or anything, but I'm walking around for another five, ten minutes or so, and I check gut hook just to see how long I have, and I'm like way off trail, like what? And it turns out I took someone called like the Herman Melway Bridge Trail or Herway or I don't know what it was called. It doesn't matter. But I was far enough along it that I'm like, I don't really want to turn around. And if that was poison, I was going to lose my mind. It wasn't. Excellent. Although there's a lot of it here. Um, like, damn it. So it seems like it might be a little shorter, but it, the normal trail like walks you right into town. And this one looks like it puts me like a mile or two down the freeway. So I just really didn't want to turn around. I just climbed up a big hill. I'm like, no. So I'm going to go down. Also, it's nice and dirt here where that trail was really like volcanic rocky. So I'm just going to see how this goes and maybe I can get a hitch or otherwise. This is the road walk for a mile. Not the worst thing ever. Besides, it's 9 o'clock right now, maybe closer to 10. Nibbles is at the dentist at noon, so I don't think he's going to be even ready to pick me up till at least one. So, no problem killing some time. Ooh, that's steep. Killing some time. There's that pub here that gives free beers to hikers. I might find a cafe first. Who knows? <laughs> 